Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving weekend. I know I did, except for my belly. My belly has been full for four days straight right now and I'm getting kind of sick of it, but the leftovers are too good to pass up on. Uh, we hosted Thanksgiving at my house this year. We had both my family as well as my wife's family. So we had a full house with a pile of food, a pile of good times, laughs, everything. They were stayed around for several days. So we had a very full Thanksgiving uh, three or four day period. It was a great time. I hope all of you did as well. Uh, but I wanted to do today's video on a product that I just put out with fishthemoment.com called the Sonar Interpretation Playbook. And I put this together because I think it's one of the most misunderstood things in fishing. You know, there's so many anglers out there right now that are running graphs that are 15 years old or brand new and costing several thousand dollars. The problem is a lot of people don't fully understand what it is that they're seeing on the screen. And I can tell you, it does not matter if you're a beginner or an expert. There are things that you see on your graph that there's times you're like, I don't know what that was. It happens to me all the time. There's uh, things that I'll do to try to identify what it is. Maybe I'll drop a camera down. Maybe I'll just, you know, do a bunch of side scanning. Maybe I'll fish around and try to hook the object that I see. I do a lot of different things to try to figure out what it is that I'm seeing on my graphs because no matter where I go in the country, it seems like I just randomly come across things that are different. Now, this isn't always structure related. It could be species related. So over time, I've, con I've gotten a whole pile of screenshots from my graphs, both 2D down scan as well as side scan images. And I was talking with Johnny Schultz at Fish the Moment about some of the different things that we've seen over the time. And he's an electronics guru. And he's got thousands of screenshots of all different things. So what we did is we took his screenshots and my screenshots, compiled them together into this sonar interpretation playbook. We created two different categories. We have a structure category as well as a fish species category. And then we provide you with pictures in most cases of all three types of sonar. 2D, which is your simple sonar imagery, down scan as well as side scan images of all of these different fish species as well as structure so that you can tell what it is that you're looking at regardless of what sonar graphs that you have. For example, we have you know a, a sunken bridge and sunken road beds. We, we provide you with pictures of what that looks like on your side scan as well as Structure, can, structure scan as well as 2D imagery so that you can see the differences. And by going through this playbook, what you come to recognize is there are very clearly differences in the items that you're seeing. And more so, I'll even point out with respect to fish species, the most important thing about it is you can almost tell fish species by how they're setting up on the structure. So, you know, for example, a lot of times, one of the most misunderstood things is when somebody's graphing and they maybe see a school of fish. Well, the assumption a lot of times is, well, that's a school of bass. But the reality is there are so many other species of fish swimming around in the lakes that most of the time they're actually not bass. But you can determine a lot of times that they're bass based on how they're spread out and how they're set up on those specific pieces of structure. So we have in, you know, in this playbook, we have walleye photographs, we have uh, gar photographs, we have, you know, white bass, crappie, all, you name it, a whole pile of different species. And when you go through it, you can really determine that there is a difference based on how those fish are setting up, how the blobs are showing up on all three different types of images. It's a very critical thing that will help you determine what you're seeing is actually bass or maybe a different species. Maybe you're chasing crappie and you wanna see how crappie's set up. Or maybe you have, you're have scanning brush piles and you see a bunch of fish in a brush pile, but you're not right, you're not at the level yet where you can determine are those crappie in the brush pile or are those bass in the brush pile? So hopefully with this sonar interpretation playbook that we've put together, you can look at the pictures that both Johnny and I have taken screenshots of over the last several years 
and compare them to what you're seeing to help you determine if it is even possible to catch the fish that you're targeting. You know, a lot of times you'll see fish on the bottom that are rough fish or, you know, catfish. And it's like, well, you're not getting bitten. You don't understand why you're not getting bitten. The reality is it's because it's not even the species that you're targeting. So hopefully this sonar interpretation playbook will help you guys learn from what we're seeing on our graphs without even being in our boat. You know, the playbook right now is roughly 100 pages. What I would like to do is as I continue to take screenshots is to up this, or, uh, to uh, add to this playbook over time and maybe come up with even more detailed playbooks or bigger playbooks. But with it being roughly 100 screenshots right now, it's a pretty valuable tool. And the reason I wanted to point this out is because with Johnny's Fish the Moment uh, Black Friday sale still going on, I believe for the rest of this upcoming week, you can take advantage of this playbook because it's on sale for 30 bucks, which means you're paying roughly 30 cents per image. And it's something that I truly believe you will get the value out of because some of these images are just like, they make you go, aha, that's what I've been looking at. Maybe you need some help finding shell beds. We got shell beds in it. Maybe you want to find out, you know, how fish are setting up on rock piles or how what what fish it is that you're seeing. I don't care what it is. If there's one photo in this sonar interpretation that helps you catch more fish, it's worth the investment. So guys, go check that out. Uh, I'll put the link in the in the video description for you, uh, and that'll take you right over to the website if that's something that th you think you'd like to purchase. It'll be something that you can purchase as well for a Christmas gift. If you've got some family members or anglers that you know of that are new anglers, maybe you know some high school kids that are just starting to fish, some college anglers, whatever it is, and you think they may need a little bit of help when it comes to their sonar units, well, this is a great way to do it because you can compare the 2D images with the structure scan images and the down scan images, and you can get a very good idea as to what structure and fish species it is that you're seeing on your lake. So go check that out, guys. I assure you it's something that will be beneficial to your fishing success because the reality of it is these days, electronics are very important, but a lot of people out there are using the electronics and they don't know what it is that they're seeing. And like I said, this isn't just for beginners. This happens to me all of the time when I'm out on the water. I see something and I don't know exactly what it is. And it takes a lot of experience and a lot of just continuing to poke around to figure out what it is actually that I'm looking at on the screen. So guys, hopefully this is something that can be helpful to you because sonar interpretation is one of the most critical critical things to being a successful, a successful angler on the water. So check that out, guys. I hope it's helpful for you. Uh, if, it, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more sonar type video content from me, hit the like button, share it on your social media pages, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And stay tuned, we'll have a new video coming out tomorrow for you.